うわーだ、isn't it glorious? That's me workforce. <laughs> Welcome back to the Red Ones Go Faster. I am Old Big Mech, and yes, I have gotten all of my orcs out on display、uh, just to kind of see the state of the army here at the end of 2022. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about setting up your hobby workspace. Now, I just moved into this house a couple months ago,、uh, and I used to hobby in the living room、uh, amongst everybody else, and now I have a home office for work stuff. And hobby stuff. Look at this gloriousness. So,、uh, those of you that get really deep into the hobby like me, you really need to have your own dedicated space to build and paint and do. And I really, really, really recommend these IKEA desks. They're cheap, they're durable, and they're really good on storage. Check this out. These drawers are so honking deep、uh, and they're really useful. So, you know, I've got all my stuff that I use. Um, on a regular basis, like right here at hand. So I've got my spare glues, I've got my pin vise, I've got my weathering powders. These are a super trick to get all that cool weathering done.、Um, and then you go down and you've got all my basing stuff with my tufts and、uh, different grasses and、uh, little resin pieces and things like that. And then my bigger acrylic j-、uh, jars and stuff. Obviously, I still need to put more in here and get more figured out. This is just kind of the basic setup to start with as I get to figuring out. What the heck to do and where this all goes. In the future, I'm gonna put cabinets up here with under cabinet lighting so that I can get rid of this light so that all of these can be against each other and this desk can be up against the wall. So I do have to do that change here eventually.、Um, this table, the idea was to be able to pull it out and be able to play games, but you can see it becomes a repository for stuff. So I think that's actually gonna go. I'm gonna put some shelving up here so I can get all these up in shelving. And then I have a closet full of stuff and things. And again, eventually you want that all shelved with all of your, this stuff, the pile of opportunity in there away so that you just have a nice clear workspace to work on. So、uh, really, this is kind of my hobby setup now, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it.、Um, I've done a couple of things in here since moving in, but today's the first day I've really gotten it all actually set up. I've been Building all my little、uh, things here that I got from Hobby Zone.、Uh, they're a small company out of、um, Poland and I、uh, got them direct. I think you can get them from the US now. I actually got them a couple years ago、uh, and never set them up.、Um, but yeah, so definitely storage. You want lighting, you want nice workspace, you want to be able to see everything you use.、Um, I still need to kind of go through this. I don't actually use all of these paints. I'm not a big fan of the Citadel base or layers. I really kind of only like their shades. Um, and maybe one or two of their contrasts. I mostly use the Tamiya, so I really need to get my Tamiya back up here.、Um, but yeah, this is, this is the setup, you know, and it's you got room to sit down, and again, there's sandpaper and、uh, x acto knives, and then here's all my spare bases. This, this is probably one of the best things you can buy when you're new to the hobby is legal bases. Get a whole bunch of them for super cheap on eBay,、um, and then you can scratch build things like. Uh, objective markers, or、uh, you know, rebase something so that you can turn it from、uh, you know, one thing into something else.、Uh, you know, you can put a guy on a 40 millimeter base, and now instead of having a knob, you've got a, a knob with a wall banner and stuff like that. So,、uh, yeah, all sorts of little tips and tricks and things that I want to do videos about. But this is the basic workstation setup、uh, and display for at the moment.、Uh, and then, yeah, I'm gonna put these guys away and get out a new army for the new year and、um, start working on putting that together. And actually,、uh, that's what I wanted to talk about with this is、uh, we got a local shop here, Mind Taker Miniatures、uh, in Vancouver.、Um, Wednesdays, starting the new year, so literally January 4th,、uh, Wednesday afternoons, I'm gonna be there、um, helping newbies along. And helping to grow the hobby here in Vancouver. So,、uh, I'll be building a brand new army. We can go over how to build things, how to, how to convert, how to scratch build.、Uh, and then we'll start working on some very basic painting. I know they bring in like, some really good high end painters、uh, to do some painting classes, but this is just going to be super low key, entry level.、Uh, so, yeah, if you're interested in that,、uh, Wednesday, January 4th, head on down to Mind Taker Miniatures there on Southeast First in Vancouver.、Um, And yeah, we can, we can start hobbying together. So I'm going to put all these guys away. Let me know down in the comments、uh, what army,、uh, if you are here local,、uh, what army you think I should work on. I do own,、uh, I've got some Tau that are all new in the box still、uh, that I could do. I do have.、Um, A bunch of Astro Militarum that aren't done yet that I could work on. I do have a lot of、um, Craft World 
Eldari. I can't get over these new names. I started in second edition. So they're just Eldar and Imperial Guard. I have to really think hard on what their, <laughs> their new names are. But yeah, I got a lot of Eldar. Uh, that I could do like legit old school craft world. So that could be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, or the Tau or the Imperial Guard, um, which mostly is kind of old school Valhallans left that I need to do and put together. Uh, there we go. And start working on those. Um, and then I have a Space Marine Force, but it's pretty much all built. I think I've got like three squads left to build and then it's just paint the whole honking thing. Um, or, you know, I could build more orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know uh, what you think uh, we should work on together. And yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you down there at Mind Taker Miniatures on Wednesday. Uh, and I could take this show on the road uh, and we could do some of this together because not everybody has a space like this. And I recognize that. And that's one of the cool things about this place that I really liked is that they have a whole setup where you can go and work on your things. So it's going to be Hobby Build Night Wednesdays. Um, not sponsored. Uh, I just found these guys and I really like them. And uh, I've known Peter that works there for a good long time. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to start trying to make a community and, and having a good place to go. Because like I said, I just moved here. So uh, it'd be really nice to meet some people and get back into the hobby that I've been away from for so long for life reasons and then COVID and all that. So anyways, hope to see you out there. Uh, take it easy and we'll see you on the next one.